What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video is another tips and tricks video. Um, I've had great feedback about my tips and tricks video so I thought I'll make some more for you guys. Um, so it's basically about turret placement. Um, a lot of people don't really worry about turrets so uh, when you do manage to get turrets these are kind of like the, the, the things you want to kind of have in place um, to protect these. Um, so all you're going to need really is the place to put your turrets, uh, mostly around the outside your base, you're not going to be able to do these inside. Um, and th they're going to be able to fit inside of these large um, kind of gateway kind of areas that we have right here. So I'm not going to upgrade them because these aren't, aren't going to be permanently here, but I'm going to be here to kind of show you guys. So the first one is, so if I have my kind of turret here, and I get it to face this way. So it doesn't have to be on a square ceiling or a square foundation. It doesn't have to be anything like that. Um, but basically, these are the things that are going to protect your turret um, from being shot out. So these have pros and cons. So the first one is a met like a prison cell um, wall or prison cell gate. So you're going to have to have a prison cell wall and a gate to obviously get in and out. Um, the wall, obviously, you can't get through, and a gate, obviously, you can. Um, but yeah, so there's pros and cons to this. Pros are um, the prison cell gate takes more rockets or more explosives to get into, um, but you can shoot through these. You can actually shoot through the prison cell gate, as I've known from earlier on uh, by one of my teammates. So thank you to him um, for letting me know that. But yeah, you can actually shoot through um, this, like this, this gate which is kind of insane. I, I never knew you could, so you can get a compound bowed, uh, so make sure it's behind high externals and people aren't trying to grief you. Um, so to keep it kind of non-visible uh, and all that sort of stuff, just to keep it out of the way. Um, but yeah, no, they are pretty secure. I think they take three, mm, I think it takes like two rockets um, to, to get through it. Two or three rockets to um, break, the, break the gate. And then obviously three HVs depending on if the game was to bug out because it's console edition um, for the um, for the turret. So every turret you see and if it has a prison cell gate on it, then it would take roughly around two to three rockets and then three HVs, maybe more, a lot more. I've had it, had it so 17 HVs for a single turret and it was direct hits. So it can go either way. Um, but yeah, let me just head over and really quickly just go get the, uh, the other kind of thing. Um, that I've got to get because I'm so unprepared. So I'll come back to that. All right, so I'm back now, real quick, and yeah. So the next one is a chain link fence. Um, again, pros and cons. Basically, the opposite of what this is. Uh, you cannot shoot through it, which is obviously an added bonus, but it takes uh, less to get destroyed. Um, which I think is like a rocket, maybe two. So a rocket or two. Um, compared to the uh, prison cell gate where it takes probably two to three to get through it but you can obviously shoot through it so if you're going for visual um, if, if, if you like it to be like looking nice so some of you are like that OCD make it look nice and all that sort of stuff um, again just kind of pick your preference these are two that um, protect your turret um, d and depend it, they, they also kind of vary in where you're going to be having these. Um, you might have, let's say, this one uh, outside your high external, so you might want these so people can't grief them. And you might want these inside your, inside your walls because if they're inside, they're going to be shooting rockets. So it's fully up to you and what you prefer. Um, so, yeah, it's fully up to you. Um, but make sure everyone's authorized on the turret, don't die and all that sort of stuff. But if you didn't make it this far in the video, I do appreciate it. Why don't you just leave a little comment down in the description below. Let me know that you got this far. Uh, I'll make sure to like, heart, and all that, and reply to the comment. Um, but yeah, make sure to join my Discord. Also link down in the description down below. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you all in the next video, and I pe peace out.